Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to free up space on your disk drives, how to get more space on your computer so that way you can install games, download movies, download music, do whatever you want to do um, on your computer. Now you could run out of space on your computer for a lot of reasons and in this video I'm going to help you find out why as well as how to delete that stuff quickly and efficiently so you could keep using your computer. Alright guys, let's get into the video. Hey guys, just a reminder to check out vpntierlist.com. It's a collection of all my ratings on the channel and you're going to find lots of helpful information here on how to choose a VPN. Anyways, back to the video. Okay guys, cool enough. The first thing you can do is actually already on your computer if you're using uh, Windows 10. I think it's also on older version of Windows as well. Basically what you're going to do is go down to your search bar and type disk cleanup and you can see it right there. It's kind of cut off but you can see it. So you click on that and it's going to load this. So this gives you an ability to free up a little bit of storage. Um, honestly, not that much because I've kind of been cleaning out stuff, you know, as I go along every day. So once you click system cleanup files, that's where you're going to see all this information on, you know, really what you have to clean up. And right here, I have 3.5 gigabytes of Windows update cleanup. I didn't know I had that on my computer and I click that. I click OK. It's going to permanently delete these files. So I'm going to free up 3.5 gigabytes right now that I didn't even know about, which is really cool. So that's really helpful. So disk cleanup is completely free on Windows. Very easy to use. Just type it down in the taskbar. Just click clean system files. And that's where you're going to get that information on what you can delete. All right, guys, the next tip on this list is to use something called Winderstat. I'll put the links down in the description down below so you can download it. Winderstat is a really cool program that is kind of like a program that shows a visual representation of, you know, where all the storage on your computer is being taken up by, what it's being taken up by. So as you can see here, I'm running it right now. It's completely free to use, a safe program. Um, and what you can see is that it's going to be scanning your computer, almost like antivirus or something like that. And it's going to be showing you what parts of your computer are taking up the most storage. So it sometimes it can take a little bit, especially if you have a slower computer or if you have a lot of stuff on your computer. So just give it some time and let it run its course. All right, guys. So it took like, you know, three or four minutes to finally complete scanning. And this is kind of what it's going to look like. So we have like an interesting blocky system down here showing us kind of where all the files are. So it kind of will show you up here. Um, it's like DVCC file. It's taking up most of the storage and you could click down here and stuff like that. Um, but what is going to be kind of important is like this section. So as you can see that it's like this section is taking up 286.5 gigs. If we go into here, we can see where it all is. So it's all in like the cache clips for me. So this is going to be pretty much all like the files for my video editor. So my video editor has like these kind of temporary backup kind of files. I think that's what it is, some kind of cache. And that is where like all my storage is going. Yep, it looks like it's the optimized media. So when I use 4K content, I have to optimize it so that way I can actually edit it. Otherwise it's too choppy, too hard for the computer to handle, even though I have a pretty beefy computer. So that's where all my storage is going. I kind of forgot uh, that I had all this stuff, optimized media cache there. So it's like 286 gigs stored there so I can easily delete that what I'm gonna do is click here and basically what I could do is just go here I don't want to delete the folder necessarily this is 54.5 gigs so what you can do is click it and you can click open so now I'm gonna have this opened right here and now I can actually go into the file and delete all of this now I could have very easily just deleted it um, in terms of like doing it from Windows stat. But like I said, I didn't really want to delete the main file, which I think it might have done. So just to be safe, I kind of went in here and now I'm deleting uh, 250 plus gigs of stuff that I kind of had forgotten about that was taking up space on my computer. Good thing I have a lot of space on my computer or else this would have been really bad. This is just one example of how useful this program could be. So while it's deleting all that stuff, we can also look at some other stuff. You know, I have a little bit of downloads, not too much though. Some stuff on the desktop. There's probably some prior video recordings. Um, some stuff from Apple, probably iTunes related. Um, so yeah, there's not really too much else on my computer besides that. And it's good to free it up. This is a really good program to use. It's very simple to use. All right, guys, now we're moving on to the next step here. 
Um, this is going to be a program called Driver Store Explorer. This is a really cool um, program that's going to hunt for old driver packages um, that, and therefore you can remove them. Um, in particular, those for NVIDIA, AMD, Intel Graphics, uh, Realtek, HD Audio, stuff like this. And they can each take like 100 megabytes of packages so you can remove these old drivers. And what you can do is do select old drivers. So I clicked it already and it's going to select all the old drivers. Um, some of these really aren't that big, 28 megabytes, you know, 2 megabytes, 3 megabytes. Um, you know, nothing here is going to be as significant as what we're deleting here. So you can see with Windows stat. Um, but it is, you know, you don't really need to have these old drivers on your computer. So I'm going to delete all these old drivers um, and just kind of clean things up. That's good to do. There we go. Uh, easy as that. So guys, next up on the list, we have something called Compact GUI, which stands for Compact Graphical User Interface. What this can do is use Windows 10's native fast streamline compression system to shrink various folders. So this would be really good for stuff like Photoshop. You could do it with games as well. All right, so guys, so let's go ahead and try it out. So what we're going to do is click select target folder. Let's go ahead and try to find Photoshop. It's going to be within Adobe. And here's Photoshop. So if we select this folder, let's go ahead and try to compress it. It's 2.4 gigabytes. Compress folder. And let's see, you know, how long it takes and what it can be compressed to. So this could be really useful if you have, you know, a really small hard drive and you really have to get it down to the brass tacks, you really got to compress every single thing. Every single thing matters. This is going to be a really good app for that. You can't get rid of some of these applications, but you need to make them smaller. So this is what that's going to be for. So let's go ahead and compress it and see what it ends up being. All right, guys. So the compression is finally done. It took around five minutes or so. And we got the compression down one gigabyte, which doesn't sound like much, but if you do this to like 15 or 20 applications, this could be a significant size reduction. Not only this, uh, Photoshop will, will work as normal. So let's go ahead and see if it works still. Yep, it's still working great. So that is really cool. We can also try it on video games, all sorts of things. I saw an example of, you know, making it on Fortnite, like I said. Um, yep, Photoshop's still working really good. So this is a really cool way to compress files that you actually need and can't get rid of. So guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you learned some things about how to save space on your computer, get rid of stuff that was hogging up to space, clear up your disk drive. And let me know down in the comments down below if you have any tips that you would like to share with my audience, or if you have any ideas for future videos. And I'll see you again very soon.